Many people around the world choose to live together in villages. Wollonga in South Australia is just such a village. And this, my friends, is old Wollonga folklore. Wollonga is a village famous for its three pubs. The Alma Hotel sits at the northern end of the town and is known as the Bottom Pub. Around the corner we find the Wollonga Hotel, or Middle Pub, and perched up along the hill at the end of the high street sits the Old Bush Inn, also known as the Top Pub. Many people over the years have wondered how such a small village came to enjoy three licensed hotels. Our story tonight starts back in 1977 when local amateur historian Norman Waverley started investigating this conundrum. Snubbed by the local historical society for his unusual views, Norman made it his quest to shed new light on the subject. Conventional theory held that Wollonga was the halfway point on the main road from Adelaide to Victor Harbour, a place to change horses and refresh weary travellers, creating a demand for all three hotels. Norman dismissed this as complete nonsense. He knew there must be more to the story and became convinced that one pub, the Top Pub, had in fact began its life in an entirely different location. Norman began to suspect the old Bush Inn had originally been built at the top of the old Wollonga Hill in Hope Forest. And it was the Hope Forest Hotel that had actually slid down the hill and come to rest in its current location. Clutching his satchel of theories, Norman rushed to share his views with the local historical society. After a quick reading, they found his methodology somewhat flawed. Clearly, he needed evidence. By immersing himself in the alternate history community, he slowly began unearthing new and increasingly credible support for his theory. Geologist Sturton Foss confirmed the likelihood of Norman's idea by explaining that the Wollonga Fault Line runs across the range and through Hope Forest. Mr. Foss was able to pinpoint the exact date of the incident to May 15, 1953 the night of the infamous Adelaide earthquake. He explained that the unique combination of seismic activity and heavy precipitation caused a mass slumpage event along that section of the escarpment. Another account was provided by local character Haughty Freeman, who insisted he had been patronising the Hope Forest Hotel that fateful night in 1953. It was, according to him, a wild night. The Hope Forest Bachelor and Spinster Nights really went off, he said. The band was rockin', the dancers were jumpin', and the excitement of lusty young couples. Well, he went on, the old pub simply slipped off its stumps and careered down the hill. What a ride! Norman also sympathised with the thinking of local healer and visionary Carol Ann Rudge. She explained how the convergence of seven coffee houses in Wollonga numerologically manifested the presence of a third pub. The harmonic oscillations of caffeine as a stimulant begat the marriage with alcohol as a depressant. Out of balance, the zone had become a vacuuminal vortex that drew the Hope Forest Hotel in a descending energy spiral. Here was a feast of historical possibilities for Mr. Waverley to consider. But which theory to believe? Clarity was found through a visit to the source of Norman's angst. At the Old Bush Inn, proprietor Tepi Denton showed Norman some stunning evidence that would rock Wollonga's amateur historical scene to its core. Barely discernible in the grains of an old photograph was the record of the ruins of an old house and perched mightily on top was the old bush in itself. Hot on the scent, Norman rushed to investigate foundations around the back of the pub. Norman had cracked it. Sherelle Belmont 
clearly remembered that night as a girl in 1953 when she had woken in fright amidst the rumbling roar to find the Hope Forest Hotel on her back doorstep. Armed with his compelling new evidence, he proudly lodged his findings with the Historical Society, who, this time, were unexpectedly welcoming. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a bit of old Wollonga folklore. Join us next time as we discover the forgotten stories behind Wollonga's many extraordinary treasures. So 